What's up guys, how y'all doing today? So, I wanna give Vera Cruz another go. I arrived here yesterday, I was exhausted from the bus ride. I didn't sleep very well the night before. And all that good stuff, so I got a lot of sleep, got, got, got a lot of rest, had a good solid breakfast today. <coughs> it is 1.40 in the afternoon, and I'm gonna walk. I'm gonna walk as much as I can in the city to discover if it's a cool place to come visit, come live, whatever, whatever you wanna do. So. I wanna walk in the direction of the beaches and on the way I might find some interesting stuff. So if I see interesting stuff or things to tell you, I'll turn the camera on, but come on, let's do it. Let's go walk Veracruz and see what all the talk's about. Maybe get some seafood while I'm at it since I'm right next to the ocean. Stay tuned. For the new people in the channel right now, I walk a lot, I walk a lot. So I'm gonna try to walk as much as I can in the city. But let me give you an interesting fact about Veracruz. Maybe 20 minutes outside the city in the opposite direction by car. 20 minutes by car, five hours walking. <laughs> but it's a small town outside of Veracruz called uh, La Antigua. And that's actually the first uh, European village in the Americas. Founded by Hernan Cortez, the conquistador. And his house is still there. It's in ruins, but it's still there. I'm probably not going to have time to go visit it. I saw pictures and it looked interesting, but I'm only here until tomorrow and I leave, so I want to really see the city. That, I don't know, maybe not day when I come back and go check it out, but uh, yeah, Hernan Cortez, first village. And they say in my family, uh, we came with Cortez, my, or my, my ancestor came with Cortez, so maybe, possibly, he landed in that village too. His name was Pedro Flores, based on my family tree. But uh, actually, the more I talk about it, the more interesting it sounds. <laughs> I might have to go check it out, I'm not sure. But I, I won't have time. And unfortunately, unfortunately, I'm not really feeling Vera, Vera Cruz. That's why I want to give it a really good go today. Walk as much as I can. And maybe, maybe my mind might be changed. Who knows? What do you guys think so far? I mean, it's a clean city. It is that what I look for in a city is more people in the streets, you know, more movement, but it's just mostly cars. It might be because it's hot here. I would say right now it's about 85 degrees, so it's not that bad. A little a slight humidity, very nice breeze from the ocean, so it's not bad. So here's the area I'm right now, and I'm walking towards this name, this barrio called Barrio. La Hueca, I believe. Barrio La Hueca. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but they say that this barrio was founded by, uh, I believe, freed African slaves in Mexico. I mean, who would have known? They don't teach. They don't teach us about that in history class, do they? But let's go inside that barrio and check it out. Stay tuned. Very cool area. So I think this is where it represents, or basically must be the original houses. I'm not sure it's made out of wood. Would it have lasted that long? What do you guys think? Or is this like a replica? But this is the neighborhood that was founded by freed African slaves. And I never knew that Mexico had slaves, like African slaves. I knew they had um, indigenous. Let's see. La Hueca, Rice Negra. Let's see if there's any English. Let's see. Rice Negra, Labor de Parto, Con Sabor de Sal, Eres Esencia Mestiza, Eres Mezcla, Colo, as a poem. Uh huh. Interesting. Well, let's go walk it. Just relaxing, everybody's just relaxing. Huh. Doña La Negra. Oh, that's the famous, actually I passed her house. It was um, just down the road that, that she was born there. I wonder what her, what her history was. Hmm. 
Let me know in the comments you guys know her history. I'm gonna have to ask somebody. Buenas. Buenas. ¿Cómo está? Bien. ¿Qué, qué pena? ¿Usted sabe la historia de esta señora? Eh, no. ¿No sabe? No. Bueno, sé que era la bandera. Ajá. Lavaba este, ropa ajena en, creo que no sé dónde, en una parte de aquí. Ajá. Y cuando lavaba, cantaba. Y un día Agustín Lara vino, la escuchó cantar y pues, la enamoró y se la llevó. Ah, ok, ok. ¿Y ese es un barrio africano o qué? ¿Como de los esclavos africanos? Ah, o? de los esclavos de... no sé qué... no sé de dónde. No sabe, ah. Pero... Sí, ah, bueno. El famoso el callejón. Ah, sí, gracias. Sí. Ah, bueno, mucho gusto. Gracias. Bye, bye. Oh, well, she doesn't know the history either. Hmm. But it's very interesting. Very interesting. And it's a lot of things that, we, that they don't teach us in school, do they? Like the history books and stuff. They don't teach. History is written by history is made by the person writing with the pen, right? So it's really nice to travel, to to, to experience other cultures, experience other situations, and see what the true history was, right? Boots on the ground, going yourself and checking it out, right? So. Let's continue this walk, this walk and talk in Veracruz and see what we discover. Stay tuned. I wonder what they sell here. Hmm. All right, guys, I got my research. I found it right here. Calle Tonya La Negra. Maria Antonia de Carmen Peregrino Alvarez, Veracruzana por Nacimiento. So was born, she was born in Veracruz. So that house back there that said that she was born in that house is a lie because right here it's saying it's Veracruz. Who's lying? This or that? I have no idea. Anyways, she interpreted the boleros y canciones de Agustin Lara. And I think that's what the girl was saying back there. Agustin got here, heard her sing, fell in love, and took, took her with him. So, you know, this is from 1912 to 1982. Very cool. Very cool story. I love it. You know what? I'll tell you one thing, when a girl or a guy, when a person knows how to sing and gets up and starts singing, like it makes them even more attractive when they're singing, right? Let me know if, if you guys agree with me, but uh, I find that true. <laughs> so here we go guys, walking down the street. This kind of reminds me of uh, South Texas. A little bit, coastal south, like in the near the beaches, South Texas, hot. Yeah, but I've been back to Texas, the Texas, a long time, so I may be wrong. This house is super blue. <laughs> they love the ocean. All right, let's continue. Nobody in the streets, guys. Nobody's walking around. Hmm, it's mostly car. I don't even see buses that much. If I want to do public transportation. Hmm. For me, a city to live in, to live in, I need it to be walkable. And for me to enjoy walking, enjoy walking the city. Now this is walkable, there's sidewalks everywhere, it's great. But it's not that enjoyable because uh, there's no bales walking. And when you're the only one walking, it's not as fun, you know? Like, cause I love, I love to people watch. And when I can see a bunch of people, I don't even pay attention how far I've walked. Oh well. Let's keep going, see what we discover together, guys. Again, boots on the ground, life with David. Showing you the real, the real part of the cities. So y'all can make better decisions. Just so you guys can know, today's a Sunday at two o'clock. So it's possible it's because the, all the stores are closed. That might be the reason why it's kind of dead. I have no idea. Let me know in the comments. But uh, I've been walking for a while already. And this is what it pretty much looks like. Still walking, still dead. But I'm walking to a beach. I'm actually, I'm almost there to the first beach closest to uh, downtown where I stay. Let's go check out how that beach is, how nice it is or not. This is the first beach, guys. I think it's called Playa Via Al Mar. I think. 
I'll look again, I'll, I'll let y'all know. But maybe, maybe the whole city is dead because everybody's on the beach. Let's go check it out. Alright, it's true. The whole city's at the beach, man. Holy cow. Nice. We got Marisco. Huh. Let me go check out the beach. Let's go check it out, see how it is. I guess I'll get my shoes sandy. But whatever. Let's go see how it is. A lot of people sit on tables over here, I guess. They don't lay on the on the dirt. I guess they like to eat <laughs> while they while they at the beach. Eat tacos and everything. Huh. Or is this all restaurants? Who knows? There we are, the beach, Veracruz. Yeah, nobody lays on the sand. They lay, they, they are on their tables. Interesting. The water looks not so clear. Reminds me of Galveston, Texas. Hmm. It's probably because it's a port city. It's like Galveston is. But there is the newer section of Veracruz. I'm gonna try to get over there. I'm gonna try to walk that far. We'll see if I can make it. It's hot. It's a far walk, so I'm not gonna promise anything, but we'll see. Let's get out of here. Let's keep walking. All right, guys. I took my mask off because there's literally nobody around me. And I'm having flashbacks of Texas heat, man. Texas summertime. It's so hot. I don't want to get a face tan. <laughs> so, excuse moi But if I want to go into establishments or places where there's a lot of people, I'll put my face mask, face mask back on. Anyways, we're still walking. Red means no swim. Danger, danger. So we're still walking, checking out the city. It, it reminds me of Galveston. It reminds me of Galveston, Texas. That's what it does. Because like the, the sand is not very pretty. It's like dark. Same kind of water. A little bit bluer than Galveston. But uh, yeah, like I said, flashbacks to Texas. The heat and everything. So I'll keep walking as long as I can. And then I gotta turn back around and go home. Ah, I might take one of those buses. I see that this bus here goes towards Boca del Rio, and that's where I wanna go. Sweet, so all I gotta do is go on the other side of the road and catch one. We'll see, I'll keep walking as long as I can, and then I might catch a bus to go to that side of town. Cause I see that's, that's the newer side of town, so let's go check it out. I'll tell you what though, this boardwalk here is really nice. It's nicely done, and this would be a great place to go for a run. Let's go running along the beach. And then when you get tired, I didn't even get to feel the water because I'm wearing tennis shoes. I didn't get my tennis shoes wet. But I'm pretty sure it feels nice. Go run for a while, then jump in the ocean. Not bad. So I'm gonna walk as long as I can, like I keep on saying, and I'm gonna get some marisco. I'm probably gonna get a cocktail. A shrimp cocktail, baby. Yes. I hope the wind's not messing up the camera. We'll see. We'll see when I put it on the, on the computer. So since I'm by the beach, and it's hot sun, might as well get a tan. All right, we found a workout spot. A little bit too far from Airbnb, but it's good that they have it. Huh. Very good. I might do some pull-ups real quick and then keep walking. All right, workout done. I did about six sets of five pull-ups and then 10 push-ups. So, Six times five, that's what, 35? Hell, I don't know what six times five, I forget. <laughs> Anyways, six times five, and then six times 10, which is 60. So, not bad. Let's continue walking. Let's continue walking and discovering. I need that workout, man. I haven't worked out in a bit. There's push-ups in the room. I need some pull-ups, a back workout. Anyway, stay tuned. Let's keep walking. All right, guys, I've been walking forever. And it looks like it's gonna be this way, like this, all the way down. I mean, nothing changes, really. So, I don't know. I'm thinking I'm gonna cross the street and jump on the bus to Bo Boca del Rio. Go check out how it is over there. Or cut into the city and walk back to my Airbnb and see what I find. We'll see what I decide. Stay tuned. Let's go. All right, guys. I'm in the bus. And I always, I always suggest that this is the one of the best ways to see a city. And one of the cheapest ways. Jump on the bus and ride around. I've walked a lot already. Look, chavo, El chavo. I walked, I walked a lot already, and uh, I'm exhausted. So let's do the 
the bus to go see the city. And I want to get off at Boca de Rio and check out that area. Stay tuned. One of the cheapest bus tours in the world, nine pesos. <laughs> Who needs one of those fancy uh, double decker buses, tour buses, when you got a city bus? I hate to say it, guys, but this reminds me of the States. It's like America. Nobody in the streets, everybody's in cars. Ay, ay, ay. So let's keep going and see what we find. Alright, guys. So. I took the bus all the way to Boca Rio and to me it's a little bit different but to me it's still the same it's still like the states you got the parking lots you got the shopping centers you got the everybody in the cars I feel like I'm in South Texas man but uh whatever I'm actually gonna cross street because I don't see anywhere good to eat I don't see any seafood restaurants I see a wing stop right here a wing spot so I'm gonna cross the street jump on the bus and go back to my airbnb if i see anything interesting i'll turn the camera on but other than that i might see you on the next video i have no idea i'm gonna need to plan my trip where i'm gonna go to next i might be leaving the coast because but those wings look good though hold on we got we these do look good or i'm just really hungry hmm no i'm by the coast i need seafood okay so Going back to my Airbnb, going to plan my next destination, and we'll see where I want to end up, yeah? It might be away from the coast. I'm tired of this heat. Check it out, guys. I'm going to get me a raspado. ¿Cuál es el más favorito? El sabor de raspado. El sabor de raspado es el aguanábana, uh -huh. tamarindo, y hay un preparado que lleva plátano machacado, lechera, clavel, canela, galleta, y el sabor. El sabor normal es de grosella. Grosella. Sí. Y, y como. Tengo la monjita, lleva rompope, lechera, clavel y canela. Ajá. Y diablito lleva chile, limón, tamarindo. ¿Y la gloria qué lleva? La gloria es el que le nombre primero, el que lleva plátano machacado, lechera, clavel, canela, galleta. Y es como dulce. Sí, es dulcecito. Ahí tengo las fotos. Sí. ¿Y qué precio tiene? La monja es esta, el que lleva rompope, lechera, clavel y canela. La chamollada lleva chile, limón, chamoy y miguelito. Ajá. El diablito lleva chile, limón y tamarindo y una paleta de tamarindo. Yo creo que yo, yo pruebo la gloria, porfa. La gloria, sí. sí. Claro. Porfa, qué calor. Check out the ice, guys. Ah. ¿Usted hace los, los sabores en su, en su casa? Sí. Ajá. Muy bien. Se ve homemade. Homemade flavors. Gracias. Alright, guys, after the long freaking walk in Veracruz in this heat, it has to be. Like, it's, it's pretty dry. It's not humid, but it's hot. Nice breeze and the shade is cool, but with the breeze you don't feel that heat, right? So this raspao is very, very welcome. Oh, it's good. All right, let's try the ice. Dropping a little bit of weight, so I can eat this. And I walked a heck of a lot today in this heat. Let's see. Oh, not that much. 11,000 steps. Normally I do about 18,000, 20,000 steps in a video. Mm. There just wasn't much to see in the city. 
Nothing much going on. Yeah. 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 I personally couldn't live here unless I had friends or family. If I had friends and family here, like serious friends, yeah. But just moving here or live here, no. Nah. Visiting, yeah, maybe two days. Come for two days, see if you like it. To each their own, right? Anyways, we'll see where I go to next. Y'all stay tuned for that, yeah? Look at this. Look at this. What is this? It's a rice. Rice? Yes. You took it from the sea? Yes. And what do they do with it? Well, now we only take it from the exhibition. Yes. But at the same way, it doesn't bite because now the spines are like this. Yes. When you press it, you don't see anything. But the spines are alive. Yes. You can grab it again. Look at it. La primera vez que lo sacamos. Ah, wow, cool. Es el único que ¿Pero qué hace con este? Nada. Lo sacamos solamente de exhibición para que la gente la conozca igual. Ah, ok. Ya después lo revisamos en la noche, ¿sí? Ajá. Es diferente especie. Es un flor. Es un flor, guys. Es un flor. Es un flor. Mira, cangrejo. Sí, no, yo ahora en la mañana. Ajá. Cool. Ajá. Cool. ¿Y qué tan profundo es acá? Como 4 metros, 5. 4 metros. ¿Y ustedes hacen eso todos los días o qué? Sí. Bacano. 4 metros y es más de 8, güey. ¿Más de 8? Sí. ¿Y ustedes van hasta, hasta profundo? Sí. Empieza aquí con 4 y ya, hay, ya es 8, 10, 12. Uy, Permite. wow. Yo meto una conchita, ahí te recuerdo. Ah, no, no, es que yo, que se escuche, el mar. yo lo pierdo. Es de lo que traigas. Pero hermoso. Ahí fúyame con lo que guste. Voy a tirarme una moneda al agua. No, yo pongo acá una moneda. Sí, claro. Pero ustedes, si tienen moneda, ustedes van a, a cogerlo. No, no, muchos. That's, that's, very, that's very impressive. Huh. No, yo no voy a hacer eso para ustedes. Yo le doy acá. Sí, claro. Vamos a ver. Hey. Yeah. Gracias, gracias. Chao. Wow, that's pretty impressive, guys, huh? They dive all the way down there. I think I saw this in the Philippines. It was a uh, Harold Boulder with a. Uh, tossing coins and kids were diving for them. So, also here in Mexico, pretty cool. If I wasn't gonna make them work for those coins, man, that's too, that's too harsh. I need to do that to lose this gut. <laughs> oh, look at the lotes, huh? Very good. I'm by the ocean, I had to get me a cocktail. So I got me an octopus cocktail. I love octopus cocktail. If you guys have never tried it, you have to try it. Let's see. It's been years since I've had one of these. They put onions, they put avocado. Yes. Very good. People normally get shrimp cocktails, but if you've never had an octopus cocktail, you're missing out. You're missing out. All right, that was delicious. Totally full. 99 pesos for a big cocktail of octopus and large lemonade. All right, guys. Sorry, but see you on the next video. Ciao.